Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my cycle. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Noel to explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Chapter 47. And for the anime only fans, I'm gonna tell you right now, click off the video. I am gonna be talking about spoilers. So, with all that being said, let's dive into this discussion. And if you guys can't tell, I really want to get into this discussion right now because, dude. When Kawaki lost his karma, when he lost his karma in this chapter, that immediately made me think back to chapter one during the flash forward sequence where we see Kawaki and he's clearly activating karma. His karma's resonating with Boruto. We know that he's walking on that path eventually to where he's gonna get karma again. But the thing is, is that it makes me wonder, has Kawaki's future changed, okay? We know that we're gonna get to that point at some point. And, and see, the thing about where Kawaki is in that moment when and he's fighting Boruto during the flash forward sequence and we look at the journey that Kawaki's had since he's come to Konoha the one question that a lot of us have had is what is it that caused Kawaki to fall so far and I think that it goes back to Ishiki Yososuke being based on the mythology for Ishin Boshi which means I think that Kawaki has been promised something in terms of a wish that's the only thing I can think of. I think that that's what's happened when I say Kawaki's future has changed. What causes him to go down this path? Is Kawaki in a position where ultimately he becomes a tragic character and we have to go back to Ishin having the ability to grant wishes? What is Kawaki's wish? What is Kawaki's wish that Ishiki's going to give him, basically? What is that wish that's gonna be granted? Because we've seen the members of Kara willingly follow Ishiki. Ishiki is willing to grant each of these members the one thing that they desire the most this isn't an empty promise he can actually make it come true and when you prey on people that are desperate desperate enough to allow their bodies to be scientifically enhanced that way they can gain the power to fight in order to get the things that ishiki is looking for in particular when it comes to the karma and doing all the things that ishiki needs in order to uh, be able to be in position to develop the uh, chakra fruit that's going to come from the god tree when you prey on weakness like that people become desperate desperate people will go through any links especially if you show them and you tell them, I can make your deepest desires come true. Like take it from somebody who has lost multiple people that he loves the last few years. Like there's just about, I can't say nothing I wouldn't do to bring some of those people back, but like there's not a day that goes by. I don't sit there and I don't, I don't find myself wishing that they were here. I mean, most recently with what happened with my dog, like there's not a day that doesn't pass. I don't sit there and wish he was still with me. There was in a day that I don't wish I could just call Ashley up on the phone and talk to Ashley and tell her all the stuff that I was too proud to say before she passed away. There's not a day that does not go by that I don't wish I could just call and apologize because the last time that I spoke to her, we had an argument and she ended up being murdered a few days later. Like, there's not a day that does not pass by. And so when I say there's just about nothing I wouldn't do, like, I understand that vulnerability. And so now all that makes what Jigen aka Ishiki is doing to the members of Car, it resonates with me on a really, really, really personal level because I understand that desperation. So, so what is the wish that Ishiki is going to grant? that makes Kawaki willingly follow behind him? What's gonna be that wish? What is gonna be that thing that makes Kawaki go this far? Because it would explain why Boruto says, I didn't think you would go this far because Kawaki's had a chance to start over. The only way that happens is if you appeal to the desperate nature of a sad human heart and Ishiki is calculated enough to do something like that. So after Kawaki got taken to Konoha, every sign that we saw from this kid is that this was somebody with a big heart. This was somebody who is falling in love with Konoha, falling in love with being a member of Naruto's family. This is not someone who goes on a rampage. If you would have looked at Sasuke as a child, at seven-year-old Sasuke, nobody would have thought 
the seven-year-old Sasuke will walk down the path that he did until the Uchiha massacre happened. And then once that happened, he got set on a different path. I don't think we've seen anything yet that justifies Kawaki being on that path yet to where he's willingly fallen Ishiki. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something that causes that trigger, that causes that change. I don't think it's something as simple as he's gonna take the Karma Seal to protect Naruto and Boruto because Kawaki still has his free will. That's something they've hammered home. Free will is a thing. Ishiki took away Jigen's free will. But if you say that Ishiki is not inside of Kawaki, what causes him to go down this path? I want to know from you guys, what is the one thing that you think Ishiki could offer Kawaki to where Kawaki's doing his bidding? Because based on what we can see from the flash forward sequence, Konoha has been destroyed. Kawaki is saying the age of Shinobi is over. That's almost like him saying that basically this world is about to go down in flames because we're getting a god tree. We're getting a chakra fruit. This world's over, Boruto. You might as well get used to it. For Kawaki to go that route, Ishiki had to offer him something. He had to have offered him something. So I want to know from you guys, what is that thing that Kawaki got offered? And as a question to you all, what is the one thing that could be offered to you to make you betray your own values? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.